We are in the midst of a transition. Storage is becoming the last line of defense for data. This transition is occurring through the introduction of storage security functionality, including encryption, which itself includes quantum resilient algorithms, media standardization, routes of trust, measurement and attestation, and other features. This new storage security functionality is complex and represents uncharted territory for the storage industry. Hello, my name is Eric Hibbard. I'm a senior director for product planning here at Samsung Semiconductor, where I focus on product security. Today, I'm here to talk to you about an important aspect of, of all information and communications technology, or ICT as it's known, and specifically data security. Unlike most other elements of ICT, security is not driven by technological advances. It is driven by events or actions that typically have negative effects or implications. Some of these can be severe enough that they necessitate regulations, which in turn introduce compliance requirements. With the possible exception of the occasional natural disaster, security is basically a people problem. In general, systems don't wake up and start attacking the neighbors on their own. In the security space, we identify the major threat actors as cyber terrorists, nation states and those who sponsor, organized crime, hacktivists, script kiddies. We also see threat actors closer to home, insiders, and internal users who make mistakes. As to motivations, they can vary significantly, with the more common including political, economic, technical, and military agendas, greed, revenge, or ego trips, or some or all of the above. Now that we've touched on threat actors, we need to address the threats. Keeping it simple, a threat is a circumstance or event with the potential to adversely impact something. For example, such an event can be either a negative intentional event, such as individuals releasing ransomware, or an accidental negative event, such as the possibility of a computer malfunctioning, or the possibility of natural disasters, such as earthquake, a fire, or a tornado. The security community often organizes threats into a broad range of categories as part of their efforts to mitigate or eliminate the threats. For the security community, understanding something about the threats and threat actors is helpful. However, having an understanding of the current threat actions or attacks is critical because this threat landscape drives security investments and countermeasures. There is an expectation that individuals and organizations are taking the necessary steps to guard against identified threat actions. U.S. President Biden recently convened a summit of industry leaders to convey the message that more needs to be done by industry. And uh, I've made it this a priority for my administration from the outset. And in May, I issued an executive order to modernize our defenses and improve our federal government's cybersecurity. Because of that order, government will only buy tech products that meet certain cybersecurity standards, which uh, will have a ripple effect across the software industry, in our view, ultimately improving security for all Americans. But the reality is most of our critical infrastructure owned and operated, is owned and operated by the private sector, and the federal government can't meet this challenge alone. So I've invited you all here today because you have the power the capacity uh, and the responsibility, I believe, to raise the bar on cybersecurity. And uh, so ultimately, uh, we've got a lot of work to do. And uh, thank you all very much. And thank the press for being here. We're going to go private now. From an industry perspective, and specifically the storage industry, we are in the midst of a transition. Storage is no longer just the repository for data it is becoming the last line of defense for data. This transition is occurring through the introduction of storage security functionality, including encryption, which itself includes quantum resilient algorithms, media standardization, routes of trust, measurement and attestation, and other features. This new storage security functionality is complex and represents uncharted territory for the storage industry. Further complicating the situation, Many of the technologies need to be tightly integrated, and they're being specified and standardized in a variety of industry organizations and standards bodies. Success will be dependent on companies like Samsung that are actively participating in all of these organizations and keeping an eye out for problems and weaknesses. 
Samsung is very active in the data security space, and we'll highlight a few elements of our program. From a storage security perspective, Samsung has established goals for its products. Monitor and react to the evolving threat and regulatory landscapes, actively engaging in standards development organizations and industry initiatives, incorporate relevant security and data protection features and capabilities into our storage products, delivering these features in a timely manner. We believe these goals help address having storage serve as the last line of defense for data. We also strive to be a trusted supplier by delivering products that are secure by design and are of a trustworthy nature. With regards to security features and capabilities, Samsung has developed product security roadmaps that typically show increasing security functionality as levels. In the case of SSDs, these levels range from basic self-encrypting drives through more advanced functionality, including Keeper I.O. and quantum resilient algorithms. These security roadmaps help our customers develop their data protection strategies. Using Keeper.io as an example, and keeping in mind that the specifications are still under development, Samsung has already developed proof of concept drives that facilitate exploring the concepts, in particular, leveraging hardware encryption within a drive and full host control of encryption and decryption by specifying the encryption keys to be used for each I.O. operation, the reads and writes. Samsung was able to work with a partner to further explore the possible use cases, the implications, and dependencies. Our NetApp partner offers a few comments on the Keeper.io proof of concept. Hello, my name is Fred Knight. I'm a principal standards technologist at NetApp, where I focused on standardization activities associated with several storage technologies. Security is an important element of all of these standards. This security can be used to protect the stored data, to control access to the data, and to address the trustworthiness of the storage technology itself. These security capabilities require an element of interoperability because of the heterogeneous nature of the storage technology. For example, hosts from any one particular vendor are required to interact with the storage devices made by multiple different manufacturers. And the devices from any one of these manufacturers are required to interact with hosts that are developed by multiple different vendors. At NetApp, we have been collaborating with Samsung on several important storage security endeavors. Samsung is often an early adopter of security capabilities, which makes them an ideal partner. This early work often results in discoveries that have implications for the relevant specifications and standards. And because of the timeliness of the discoveries, we work together to produce modifications to those documents. This helps ensure the practical usability of those features in real-world use cases. As an example, our recent joint work across multiple standard setting organizations on a project known as Keeper.io or KPIO has grown our understanding and expanded the real-world use cases for this feature, which has resulted in changes to the specifications that will improve implementations associated with KPIO. Samsung is not content to simply participate in the data security space. Samsung personnel are serving in leadership positions that directly affect the state of storage security. For example, the development of the ISO standard on storage security, as well as the broader cybersecurity and data protection or privacy domains. In addition, Samsung experts also serve in liaison roles that foster cross-pollination between data security and the cloud, legal, and engineering domains. We hope this information provides some useful insights into Samsung's data security activities. Thank you for your attention.